Okay, everybody. This is Jeanette here. Um, I want to try to make this as quick as possible, this one. Um, not hang around too much. I have two couples in this near the end that I know these people. The two couples I do know. One I went to school with. Another one is someone who is fairly well known and I don't mention one of the men that it's connected to. Just the guy that I went to high school with. And um, what I want to show first of all is how attractive some of the transgendered male to females are. This first picture that you see, this is a model and that model is a guy. Um, the one that looks like a female is a guy. <laughs> yeah, this is a male. And why it's a male, now it's kind of hunched over so you can't see, but this is really a straight back on it. Uh, the long body, the long legs, the long arms is a dead giveaway. Women just are not built like that. All muscle. And here's a split between the front muscle and the back ones right here. You'll see this a lot, and you'll see it usually in here. I don't sit so much in this pose. But, uh, yeah, I want to show how attractive these are, because these women are more attractive than the other two that really do look like more like guys. Okay, here what this shows is that they are satanic. This isn't hell rock and roll. This is their giving that devil horns out, thanking Satan for giving them whatever they have. And uh, the tongue stuck out is, I think it's Shiva the Destroyer Demon. It's Indian, East Indian. Anybody want to find out about that character? Please do Google it. S-H-I-V-A, I believe is how you say that. These are all guys. And that's one of the Kardashians, either uh, Jenner or yeah, I think that's the youngest one, but I want to show you how attractive that it can be. And it's how it's easy that guys think that they're really, you know, women. <clears throat> but the thing is, when you see the others, you won't understand how the guys were able to think that they were women in the first place. But here's uh, the Kardashian and uh, Jenner here. This is when they were little, and what they do here, if you look here at the face, they start off with the surgery really, really young. Women or females do not have pointed chins that I know of. I have no none that are. Uh, in here, it looks like they've taken a Dremel tool and just shaved it in here. Um, that's just something they all do that, and it makes it look like that it's just caved in. It's just really bad. Um, this uh, collarbone here is the male collarbone, even at this young age. Oh yeah, by them shaving this, it grows into them like this at, when they get older. But you see the male trachea right here going on. Very pretty face, but this is a dude. And this one is also. This one looks like Shannon Darty a little bit. Okay, what we got here, see this is very pretty. It looks like a doll, basically. And this is the male collarbone again that's coming down here. This is the Jenner one, uh, Kylie Jenner. Uh, I wanted to see how, see the face looks just so perfect and so tweaked and, you know, like I said, it looks like a doll. Even, there's not even much throat action going on. So, you know, people say that sometimes they're clones, this, that, and other. It's hard to say, but we do know this. They get a lot of plastic surgery and it starts young. Uh, the makeup, yeah, it makes a big difference. And they get their lips done also, pumped up and stuff. This is very wide forehead here. Deep set eyes. They don't look really wide in this, but, you know, they can have anything shaved down and chiseled down and stuff. But as they get older, their jaws will start growing again. This one's very young. Actually, it looks like about 12 to 16 years old there, but it, it's much older than that. And here it is here. Um, yeah, all this. This one never had implants. This is a male thing right here where this is going in. Can you see that? Uh, yeah, barely. Yeah, well, yeah, you can see this is a male 
plate, breastplate here. All this is male. Yeah. It had enough sense not to get implants. And this looks flat like a, a fellow. Hair looks pretty coarse like a male's. And the mouth, of course, is gigantic. Um, these eyes look really wide there, so... Yeah, the pointed chins just look dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. And this is one of them. I think this is just posing, but this neck here is just awful. This is a large male trachea right here. Oh, it is so bad. Look at the arms, the spider monkey arms and the legs. And here the legs are split at the muscles again. They don't have any fat on them at all so that's one way you can tell it's not a female females have to have some fat on them because uh it's deadly if they don't they can get real sick and here's kim uh kim is you know got the balloons here the silicone uh blisters is what i call them this is the male rib cage right down here and i am very surprised that this hasn't been removed a couple of the ribs yeah, and we know about the ass implants. Um, this hair needs to be trimmed. It is just so dead. Dead and coarse as male hair is, but it would look healthier if it was cropped. They just don't have a clue what really looks good. They really don't. And the hands are longer than the crotch right here, which tells you this is a male. Yeah. It's mostly the ass, most of that in the back. I guess ass and the side of it and stuff, the back, the rear end is really terrible. But uh, yeah, this is a male neck. Uh, it's like a Barbie doll. I need to get a Barbie doll and see if they're tranny, actually. Uh, anybody want to uh, do something like that? And that's what I thought I would do. But um, yeah, look at the shoulder here. It's really straight. That's a straight collarbone. That shows it's a male. Yeah, but this is like Barbie doll here. <clears throat> yeah, I wanted to show just how pretty the faces are, basically, and compare them to the two trannies that I know. And here's the youngest one again, and you see how uh, small it is here, and it's got a little bit of curve, but not too much. This is a male because the widest part of this side is below the belly button. If this was a female, it would be above it because the navel would be down here if it was a female and the widest part would be here in the hips. I think I did that right. I think I said that right. And again, the legs and the arms are just so, so long. And see, very beautiful, very pretty face. This one didn't get chopped too much, but it's a little lopsided. Uh, straight here. Yes, I wish that guys would learn about this. Uh, I'm going to try to teach it in my health center so uh, mothers can find out, you know, if their sons can't, maybe the mothers can and, uh, you know, do something about it. This is Sandra Bullock, okay? And we know Sandra Bullock is a guy. Now, how is those shoes on there? Can I lift this up a little bit more? Can you really see her foot down here? Right here. Trying to see. No, I think her foot comes down so, so far down here. My screen just doesn't come in here. Her shoes look like she's wearing a size 13, 14 heels, drag heels. Uh, the straight back here also is telling you that this is a, a man, not a female. Um, the long legs. See? But it's got a beautiful face. So it must be a female. See, that's what you go, guys go by. And that's in here. Now, I don't know. Can you see the bottom of that? Yes, you can. Good. You see here, this is the male trachea. These are the tendons, the male tendons that help hold the great big old coconut up here. And the shoulders are so wide. Yes, you can get three heads on these shoulders. If I had a smaller picture, it would be the same thing. It doesn't matter that this is a large picture, but it's a good enough one to, to use, and that's why I did that, to show that Sandra Bullock, yes, is a male. Only 10% of people on TV are uh, not transgendered. The rest of them are. And this is the big male trachea right here. 
This is where I say that they put, when they cut the penis off, this is where they stick it. And that's exactly what it looks like. Nice place for it. But here's the wide jaw. Down here she's got the cliff in the chin here, which guys usually do have. Never had that file opened up and filed down. That looks real masculine. Eyes really far apart, deep set. Yeah. But this doesn't look too bad. It's a few years ago. Uh, these look pretty straight. Now, if they have a big trapeze muscle here that sticks up, it'll cause it to have a little bit more of a slope. I've discovered that. And here, Sandra is with the straight back again. Beautiful young picture of her, beautiful face. But this straight back tells you that this is a man or a male. It's not a man. It's not any female uh, vocabulary, female, she, her, anything like that. It isn't. It is a male. It's not a man. It's only, you can call it a male or male to female MTF. Those are the proper words for things like this. Or abominations, you can use that too if you want. That's what I usually call them. But here is the whole long chiseled jaw of a fella. Yep, just a little eye makeup. Yep. It's getting rough looking as you're going to see in a few minutes. See, it's starting to get rough looking there. It's had a few more facelifts, deep set eyes, fairly far apart, big old dental here, and here is a big old male trachea. Huge male trachea. This could be the Adam's apple, I don't know, but I do know the trachea has, it's like a vacuum cleaner hose. It has, you know, the little, uh, ridges on it is what I mean to say ridges yeah okay and everybody ages they change their faces you know their faces change mine does you know so it's just changing and with the facelifts and that's what makes them look so different uh, this is coarse male hair here really really coarse I can tell the texture but I don't know if anybody else can but it just really really coarse and here's a big, huge male jaw right here, just gigantic. And anything down here going on? No, it looks like there might be a little bit of fat there. There is um, a dimple, it looks like to me, dimple. But this hair just doesn't look like fine feminine hair at all. And there's a back slope right there. And here's a nice back slope there. Um, you got your big mouth here. And this right here, this almost looks like a willy right here. Yeah, maybe they stuck it in there. Stuck it up here and down through here, huh? Look at that. You can see that. Yeah, good. Okay. This hair is coarse male hair. I mean, just look at it. See how heavy it is? It's like a horse's tail. And here she is got it all in there. I gotta make sure it's in the camera thing. You can't see the knees so much. Let me bring this up just a little bit more up here. I don't think you can still see the knees. Doggone it, this thing, this camera just doesn't show them right there. The knees look like guys' knees. If you can see them, they do. Okay, I'm gonna bring this back down now. Well, what I've done here is I've cut this across the collarbone across the waist, which is right underneath the elbow. That's right where the waist is, and here's where the crotch is. You can see this is smaller than this. This is the long male torso. This tells me that this is a male body that this one's in. And these knees is a dead giveaway also. And here it shows who she worships and thanks for her fame and her money. Uh, and that's not hell rock and roll. That is uh, Satan and Lil the Satan. Okay, and this little one here is what I want to show you the bodies. This is what the bodies look like on the guys, the Victoria's Secret models. And the secret is there are all guys. 
because in a minute you're going to see the ones that I know. Okay, the long bodies here, and they have a little curve because males have a little little bit of a curve where the hip bones are. Um, yeah, okay, these are the thighs, actually, the thigh bones is what I should say. A hip curve would come out up here, start way up here and come out, and they don't. As you can see, and that's a Jenner right here. I think that's that Jenner one. Yeah, skinny old legs, and I just don't find, you know, they just don't look attractive at all. Yeah. I just don't see what guys see in that. Okay, this is the first one. CC is what I'll call this one, okay? Now, the person that she's married to is a fairly famous one, and you will not see his picture in here, but I need you, the audience, to tell me what you think of this and the next one. Okay. Well, CC here, if you look, if you can see closely, the male dental is really huge. It's like big old horse teeth and a big strong uh, chin here, even though this isn't real, real wide. But the whole head is really square, long and square, like a guy's. It's not a round female face at all. And it looks a lot like a fella to me. The shoulders are really straight on it. And here's got your long body. That's why I showed you those models to show you that, yeah, this one's like that too. You see, from the collarbone to the waist, it's hard to find the waist on these people. It's usually right underneath where the elbow comes down to. Uh, but it's hard to find the waist on them a lot of the times. And these are low rider pants. So the crotch comes to about right here. And you see, this is a lot smaller than this here. This tells me this is a male's torso. This is a male's body. And this is it. Um, side view with a very 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 long upper bone that gives males the upper strength is that long bone and that's another way you can tell that they are transgendered uh, mothers out there or even single fathers need to be able to tell their sons how to spot these people if you want grandchildren or children you're going you know grandchildren I'm trying to get that up there so you can see. You can't even see the big hand. This is just so bad. Now, well, I don't know. How do I do that then? I'm not sure how to do this. I can't raise this because I do. It's going to mess this up here. This hand here looks really big. But unfortunately, yeah, this camera screen, I can't see that at all. And again, here the face, the big... Uh, the big oh uh, horse teeth thank you yeah okay hair looks really coarse too like a male's hair like I'm always talking about the male the male's hair here it's real coarse also see it's real coarse it's not light and soft like a woman's and here's where the collarbone is, and this is where it sticks out right here. It comes up across here. And just the face. This is really empty here. But this face here just looks masculine to me. Um, I'm not sure if that looks like a back slope or not. Anybody um, out there want to comment? Uh, leave it in the section below. Here is the flat back, which, uh, you know, you can't argue with. The flat back is a male. Um, if anybody can prove to me otherwise, please do so. Look at the arms here. How long the arms are, if you can. Yeah, see it comes way down here, way past this screen. I don't think I can get that up any closer. No, I can't. I'm going to have to make sure that this is cut way off in the future. I have to make these smaller or something. Get them in. All right, anyway. This right here, let's see, yeah, you can see this. This right here is the the jawline, and it's very, very, very strong. You can see it really prominent. Is this right here a back slope to the forehead, though? The hair looks a little softer 
somewhat, but I was concerned about this mainly, this and this. And here, I mean, this looks, yeah, it just looks like a guy. Big old horse teeth. This looks almost like the Adam's apple. I'm not sure, but this does look like a big maltrechia. The forehead looks real flat there, too. Actually, it does to me. Here's a good one. Anybody, you know, it looks a little softer in this one. Shoulder looks really broad. Mm, just the overall appearance. I said it looks just really masculine to me. This here tells me that this is a male. Here's where the crotch is, basically. Now the hands look short, but this right here looks a lot smaller than this long hair. When they mix the chromosomes in the beginning, this is what you get. You never know what you're going to get. How about the legs here? Can you see these legs down here? Just barely. You know, those legs just barely down here. It's like just the shapes of them. Um, I don't know. And people can tell me what you think, but this torso is really long and straight, just like a guy. And here's where the leg splits, where I was telling you where the muscle splits from the top and bottom. A lot of them have that. This person has no body fat on their body at all. It's all muscle. A straight vegan also. Eats no protein and... Uh, but you're looking for early death when you do stuff like that, but, you know. Anyway, this belt is up a little too high. This is right where the waist is. The crotch is about right here. The old long arms again. Yeah. This is supposed to be the mother, I think, of this one. The thing is, yeah, they look just alike, don't they? Mmm. Yeah, again, just look at the face. This sinks in a little bit here. Where it'd be, I guess the muscle would just sink in. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that's like... I don't think I've ever seen a mouth like that on a female before. Here's the long bit right here. Again, really long arms. Here, the hand is below the crotch like it would be on a guy. You have to look at many pictures to catch it and the long neck. Yeah, you have to look at many, many pictures. And here it is. It looks a bit like Shelley Duvall, actually, who Shelley Duvall is a guy. But look at this from the collarbone down here to the waist, which is close to the elbow here. And the crotch is somewhere down here, but this is really short compared. This is big. This is really, really big. This is a male. Uh, torso. That's really a male torso. That's what can I see? The eyes look really wide. Uh, fairly deep set there. Yeah, I think so. It just looks really masculine to me. Well, oh Lord, this is a male uh, tendon in the neck. It holds a great big coconut up. And even though this hair's nice and shiny up here, it's still coarse. It's still real coarse looking. Yeah. And the eyes are really far apart on this. Here it's doing a little bit of uh, meditation or yoga or something like that. But the back, you can see the back, how straight it is. It isn't curved. This is just a shoulder blade here that's sticking out a little bit. But it's not got the female hump to it. It's basically just as straight as anything. Long hair helps keep that you know, covered too. This is almost like a dead giveaway of a guy right there. Looks just like a guy. So I want you people out there to tell me what you think. Um, this is a maltrechia, I think. And of course, straight shoulder, broad shoulder. And the... Um, collarbone. Yeah, you know, the male collarbone coming way up here. Yeah. I mean, this is like really a dead giveaway, this one. 
This right here, side view. Yeah. Does it look like some males don't have real heavy um, brow ridges? Yeah, some don't. This Joker mouth though is something else, and the hair looks really coarse there. It looks wet too. And here, this arm here. See this arm here? This arm here looks like a man's. That just looks like a man's, and this looks like a man's. The way the muscle goes down and around. Yeah. Here's the male uh, tendon, and part of the trachea, you can see the line right here, and again, big mouth. Uh, when they cover part of their face up, you can't really see. It helps hide how big and long that the face is. Women's faces aren't big and long like this. They're more round than what this is, and this is long and straight long straight just like those models were that I was showing you and here we go nice and square nice and square nice and square yeah yep this hair still looks coarse to me it doesn't look really soft looks like male coarse hair this one right here this really looks like a, a guy here in this little picture this right here well, you can see the light bouncing off of the brow ridge right here and here, big time. This also shows the deep set wide eyes of a male. And this forehead here, it looks pretty flat to me. People can let me know what you think. But yeah, I believe that this is a transgender person. Okay, now this is my friend Kevin I went to school with and his wife. Okay, he'll never probably see this. I doubt it. If he does, and you can't see him. This is weird. This camera is so weird. There he is. Okay, damn, I'm glad I looked at that. All right. Even sitting down, you can see, yeah, you can see the black line down here that I have on her. Well, you can only see the top one. Oh, goodness. Look up here. Over here. Yeah. Okay, even sitting down, you can see that this is smaller from where the hip is, where the crotch is. We don't go under the crotch, we go right on the top of it where the mound is, okay? And about where the waist is would be right underneath the elbow, but sometimes it don't work for these transgenders because the arm is so long on it that the waist might be up even a little bit more. But you can see that this will still be longer than what this is. This is a male torso because of that. You can't see too much in the face here. They always keep their forehead covered up. But if you can go way up here where it's lighter and come around like this, you can almost see a good square in there. Yeah. Okay. If you look at him, he looks like almost like a female to male. He's not. I went to school with him. He's got other brothers too, but... He's just a little dorky. He's just a country guy, and he hasn't a clue. He said he didn't know what he did to get such a beautiful uh, woman in his life. It makes me cry when I think about it. Um, I'm going to bring this down here so you can see his face. This dog on camera is not a good one for this. I can't get them all in, but anyway. He said he didn't know what he did to deserve such a beautiful woman. How could a beautiful woman like her be interested in a guy like him? Well, when you get a gay man that has a sex change operation and they find another man that will uh, accept them without knowing about it, of course it's all a lie and stuff, well, then they're going to hook up with that person. They're going to have a close and loving relationship, but it's one-sided, really. Um, it's just disgusting. It really is. It's like, can't wait until Judgment Day. That's what I always say. Then they're going to have to face the music. Can you see them? Barely, barely, barely. It's this big-ass mouth is what I'm talking about. But you see, he feels a little feminine. His face does, yeah. Uh, he's just a sweet natured person actually you know he does have a daughter from he was married before and he does have a daughter his eyes are um, 
are deep set, even though they do look like they're close together to me. But sometimes, you know, you get guys that look a little feminine and you get that feel. He's just got a kindness about him. Yeah. But this one, this hair is real coarse also. Like I mentioned in the others, it's not real soft. It's real coarse. And these are real wide. Yeah, real wide. And this is where the trachea is. It's along here. You can't see it too much on here. And again, that's way, way, way down here. I'm going to have to shrink these pictures up, I guess. Okay, here what we got. This is Kevin's daughter right here. Right here in the center here. And you can see her top half to her waist, where the elbows are, and to where her crotch is, is the same size. This tells you that this is a female, okay? Now, I believe this is his daughter. You know, I can't tell you 100% it is, but I do believe 98% that it is, okay? Or 99%, I believe it is his daughter. Okay, the thing about these, okay, this one here, this looks like a male because this is so much smaller, okay? Uh, this is long, arm bone right here. If you look at the shoulders here, they slant like a girl's. But the body says this is a torso of a male. Sometime that you'll get it like that, uh, you'll get a mixture and it's hard to, hard to read. Um, these eyes look pretty wide set and this looks really big forehead. It looks big, like a big block, but the face still looks kind of round, so I have to wait and see on that one. This one, I believe, is a guy. Yeah, I believe that this is a guy. And, uh, yeah, this one is, this is the wife here. This is Kevin's wife here, and you can see the long top and the short bottom. This is a male. Long top, short bottom, this is a male. This is the daughter, which is a guy, actually. These are trannies, too, and I don't think that they know. You know, this is a tranny, that's a tranny. I can't cut the body up on this one because it's behind here, but, yeah, these two are supposed to be the daughter to this, and you notice they don't look anything like this one. Of course not, because that one don't have a uterus. And there's the wife again. This thing here I think is uh, might be a sister but this one's a guy look at how how wide these eyes are but what I want to say was about the teeth and I'm going to have to um, I have another one where you can see the the wide how wide the gum is and how small the teeth are what it's done it's had dental work done uh, where the teeth don't look so wide they look more feminine so it's had a dental, and I'll show you that. That's another trick that they can use also. And this hair looks really coarse and, and dead also. Doesn't, none of this hair looks soft female hair. It's all heavy and coarse. And here we got the flat back. There you go. That's a tranny right there. And that's all you got to do is look at that. And the shoulder here, all the way down here, yeah. See how short this is? The crotch is about down right here. This is shorter than this here, upper. Yes, yeah, so it's like this is a male torso and the flat back. There's no doubt about it. And this poor guy's laying with a man and doesn't know it. He is very religious also. Yeah, it's going to be fun on Judgment Day. I can just imagine. He looks more like a male there. Yeah. This here, though, the next messed up, this person's younger than me. Um, shouldn't have all these wrinkles going on, I don't think. But you see the lines that come down like this? I don't know if it's with the facelifts or what, because they have their faces chiseled and stuff. But the thing is, they all have lines that come down like this, every one of them. You know, and here you can see the eyes are deep set and wide, wide deep set. Yeah. Sometimes the necks are real rough like that because they have so much work done on their tracheas. And here they are. See, Kevin is a male. Long top, short bottom, uh, but the wife is also. This one's real tall and skinny. Yeah, long arm. 
And here we go. This is one of the ones that tipped me off actually when I saw this. And I was thinking, oh, Jesus, he got one. And he don't even know it. Yeah, you know, this uh, the mouth is just really huge. These are the tendons, the male tendons that help hold the big coconut up. It's his male coarse hair again. We're looking at. Yeah, the eyes are really wide. You can't see too much. He he looks he f he feels fairly feminine here. He's just got a very sweet nature, very sweet, gentle person. Uh, that's when he was a kid in school. That's how I remember him is like that back there. And here we go, getting older and looking more like an ugly old man as we age. That's it. And here he is, and he looks just looking just like a sweet guy. That he is. But this, mm. coarse old hair again. Here is what I want to show you about. Now let me see if I can, yeah, you know, blow this up some so you can see the teeth real good. See how big the gum is on this one? Okay. It's because it's real wide male. This is a male. Okay. What they'll do is they'll give them a false plate that'll fit up there. And then they give them a small teeth here. So if this one doesn't smile real big, it'll look like it's got a smaller female bite to it, you see. Look at these eyes. Oh, I don't know. This, is, this person kind of creeps me out, though. I hate saying that about a person. I can call them trannies and bastards and everything else, but I don't like really saying that it's like this person actually really creeps me out. But uh, this does. These teeth almost look, well, they're too small for this. Yeah. You see, that's what does it. Yeah. And kind of heavy set. But this is real straight here. Yeah. This is fairly big up here also. But these wide eyes, and it's like, they, you know, they look almost like they're all black, and I think that's why it's kind of creepy. Uh, the hair looks really, still looks coarse to me. If anybody wants to comment on that, please do. Um, here they both are again. I think that they might be related. The eye, wide eyes look the same, probably from the same batch of eggs, like I always say. Always from the same batch of eggs. And here, I thought that this was her um, and the daughters. Okay, well, this could be a long time ago. Sometimes people look different in pictures. They just all look different, okay? Here the muscle is split on the leg, like I say, a lot of times they are. Uh, the foot, I'm not too sure. The toes look like they are knotted up a little bit on the knuckles, and that is usually a sure fire sign that it's a guy. Um, what else? Even sitting down, like I said, you can actually figure out where the crotch is. These tops, the torsos are much, much, much longer than what the bottom is. And remember, we don't go underneath the crotch. We go right where the mound would be. Okay. You see, the faces are easy enough to look like a female. But these are not females. Not by a long shot. And here we go. Now, this is when Kevin's daughter got married, okay? And I think I might have this might have this a little tad bit high here. Can you see these people? Damn it. There we go. Get their faces in there. Oh jeez. This camera, yeah. It's a mess. It really is. Well, at least you guys can see some of this stuff. Usually a lot of tattoos will tell you, yeah, this is a guy. <laughs> yeah. Um, it just, yeah. But really, does the daughter's faces look anything like this one? No, because it, this one never got, gave birth to these. Now look, here's the trapeze muscles. Mine is completely flat here. Now, if this thing put on a shirt, it might look like it's got a sloping shoulder, okay, because of the trapeze muscle. But if this wasn't so prominent, it would ha it would go straight across because that's the way this collarbone is going. You see? Oh, this is a dead giveaway. Um, the upper torso is longer at the waist collarbone to the crotch here. If this was a female, the crotch would have to be way down here, even with the hand. And it's not. This is a male. Oh, these knees are a dead giveaway here. 
that's this down over here. Can you see them a little bit? Yeah, yeah. I think you can barely see them down here. The film, maybe I can lift this up just a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to show this. I just noticed it. Can I see it in there? Oh, I better be able to. There it is. Yeah, right here. Look, triangle. That's a pyramid. That's what that looks like to me. I don't trust any of these. They fall out of Hollywood. I think that they're all from there. They can't place all of them, so they turn a lot of them loose out here. Because of the long arms and stuff, it's the same thing as that. It's not somebody, this person did not one day wake up and decide they wanted to be trans and started taking estrogen because they wouldn't have the long arms and stuff. That comes from having both of the chromosomes in the egg as it's, you know, and then it develops in the uterus. That's the thing. But look at these knees. You talk about banged up knee caps. Boy, there's some big ones. Yeah. And anybody that does the pyramid, no. That's like, yeah. I don't trust them. Wouldn't trust them around children. And I don't trust them to bump the husband off, so to speak. And that worries me. I just got to let God take care of it on Judgment Day. He'll take care of all this. This is a male too. Deep set eyes here. I couldn't cut the body up because it's not standing, you know, straight. But this is just humongously big, six foot person. Big old, built like a brick shit house. Yeah. And even though the faces look, you know, fairly decent, you know, they're not women. These are far from it. You need to, you know, tell your daughters, this is what a real woman looks like. See the, how round and fat that the face is. Not all chiseled down. Yeah, this is the way a woman is. Women have got fat on the body. This one's kind of fat and chubby-like. Yeah, but this face, mm, like a Mack truck. And here it is with the coarse male hair. All of them got coarse male hair. See, this one looks like the Walton, one of the Waltons, you know. Um, can't think of the name at the moment. This one's been chiseled. And this has been chiseled here too. Yeah, but this is still wide. This still tells you it's wide, long neck. And uh, you see the collarbone right here, stick up. Yeah. They're still young. Wait until they get 50. This one's getting, is up there or getting close to. Joan Jett? Does that look like Joan Jett a bit? Yeah, Joan Jett's a guy. Yep, and here they are smooching, but look at how predominant the jaw is right here. See, coarse hair, they'll keep that covered up so you can't see how flat back their head is, but I got one, I think, in here. I believe I do. Here's the friends again. Oh, look at this one. Ooh, this is this one wins the prize right here. Now, if you think that that's a female, somebody freaking needs to take and have their eyes exercised. You got demons in your eyes. Yeah. This here, this is Kevin's daughter right here, I think. Is it Kevin's daughter or was this one? No, I think that this was, maybe this is when he got married. Maybe this is the wife, yeah, or husband slash husband. But this is the male, oh, look at this. This looks like it's got a demon in it, or it looks like it's, looks like it's a reptilian. Reptilian, demon, yeah. They turn them loose from Hollywood. They turn them loose out here. Uh, th this is, oh, I think that I've just stepped into some a scary movie looking at that. Oh, God, that's hideous. Here's the tranny, flat tranny back again. Yeah, and he doesn't even know it. Oh, this is a good one. Here's a gay little friend that probably uh, grew up with. Okay, yeah, looky here. Look at these long legs, and you're not going to be able to see the doggone feet and stuff on them. No, I can't do anything about that. I don't think. Raise it up. No, I can't do that. Still not. I still can't raise it up and stuff for you to too much where you see the feet down there. Her feet, 
Yeah, these toes are really knotty right here, like a man's. You can see the shadows where the knuckles raise up. Yeah, yeah, these are big ass guys' feet. Oh, God. These people make me sick. I mean, this little guy's probably just sweet as anything, this one. He looks like it. Yeah. Well, shoot. Yeah, I'm trying to get on the right thing. It's not allowing me to. But anyway, you can see this is the shoulders are so broad and a lot broader than the little tiny. No baby ever come out of that, that's for sure. Now, this one here could be a female. He's got a soft enough face that he could be a female, sometime heavy set. I never cut his body up to see. Oh, Jesus, you know what? Oh, my goodness. His waist is way up here. This is, let me do this. I'm going to do this. Can you see him, guys? I'm going to move this over here. Hang on. Right here. This is good. Okay. His collarbone is about right here. The neck ends here, and the collarbone's about an inch down. Here's his, where his uh, bend is in his arm right here. And the elbow is a little bit down from that. His waist is about right here. This is this guy's waist. This is a female. It is because the crotch is about right here. Look how short the arm is. The hand is right even with the crotch. You see how big this is to this? Same size. This is a female. That's a female. And this is a male. Let's do this one here, shall we? Okay. This is. I think this is a male, though. The shoulders are so wide. And it's just a little gay, little gay guy. Is what this one is. I'll probably show him being a guy. Yeah, this is so long here. His waist is way down here. There's his waist. And his crotch would be about right here. Yeah, you don't go under now. You go right across where the mound would be. And you can see that this is still a little bit smaller. This is much longer. This is a guy. And this is a guy. And this is a female. Goodness gracious, I even brought this down quite a bit over on this side here. Yeah, how about that? I was right. The face kind of looked like it. Mm hmm All these transgenders. This is in Colorado, I mind you, okay? There's another one I found on Facebook. I didn't know, but I knew right away that the person was trans, okay? Male to female. I seemed like a really nice person. The thing is, they're always telling these people, what a beautiful woman you are. And it's like, yeah, it feeds their crazy ego, doesn't it? Yeah. <sighs> I don't have the heart to say anything because I don't have a heart to say anything. See, look how pretty she looks here. This is why I put Cindy Crawford and them up here that are men, too. It doesn't matter. It's like the faces, you know, they're just, you know. Yeah, okay, here is your Adam's apple maltrechia right there, and um, here is the straight, ugh, the broad shoulders um, from the collarbone here to the waist, right underneath where the arm bends. Um, this here is much shorter. This is where the crotch is, and the hand is way down past the crotch. It's just super long. That tells you this is a guy. Well... Yep, and here we are too with the big ass mouth again. Wide eyes. How men can find these attractive because they look too masculine to me. Here, this person looks real masculine. This is a big old male trachea. Look at this straight shoulder, how straight it is. See, the trapeze muscle isn't sticking up as much, but it's all kind of down here. Just depends, see? They can have skinny arms, but they don't have any fat on them at all. It's right here. It's real flat right here. Yeah. Make sure I get all that in and stuff. And these mouths are just so big. It's like, well, this is definitely, I believe both of them are transgender. Please, people, you know, let me know what, let me know what you guys think. This is it, too, when it was younger. And I don't know, you can't see too much except the big-ass teeth, but, you know. And here it is down here, how far down on the bottom. Oh, the hair looks just so coarse. This hair looks just real, real coarse to me. Um, got a lot of powder or makeup on. But this chin, 
I mean, this is really a really strong jawline here. There is the male tendons in the neck right here. And this looks like what could be an Adam's apple right here. Can you see it down here? You can't see it. Damn, this pisses me off. I can't. If I do that, I can't pull it all the way up. It does not allow me to do that. This stupid thing does, no, it's just not, it's not allowing me to do this. I can't do it, no, I can't do it. It's not allowing me to. I'm gonna have to do work on this crazy thing. Um, I'm gonna have to cut this screen off on the bottom way down here. I can make these pictures small. I can make them real small. Um, yeah, where I can get them in there. This is just really, it's not a cheap camera. It's not a cheap one. It's on a little tripod even. It doesn't have a pause on it, which, uh, you know, is one thing. My son just didn't know what he was doing when he got this one. Okay, and there's another one here. And this here, this is a flat right here. It's so flat here, it sinks in. This sticks out here and out here. You know, wide eyes, flat, like someone hit it with a skillet. And here we go. Here's the old square face. You know, you can see it on here. Yep. Keep the forehead covered so they can't tell you got a flat forehead like a guy. Look at the wide eyes. How guys can't tell this stuff? This, you shouldn't, if you're a man, you should not be attracted to this no, the straight shoulders, you should be attracted to this stuff. They got us so dead from Miss America and stuff. You know, yeah, the guys can't, guys can't even tell the males from the females. And it's like, yeah, oh, it's disgusting. It really is. And here it is when it was younger. You can't see it too much here. As they get older, this becomes more pronounced. The sloping shoulders. I think it's kind of, it's standing. Reminds me of Stevie Nicks. Stevie Nicks is a guy also. Notice the name Stevie. Yep, the hair is pretty coarse also. Could be from bleaching. It's possible, possible. This one's in its 50s. Yeah, then the big mouth and the big eye brought wide eyes again. And that's it, guys. So, you know, it was fun while it lasted. So that's all for now, and I'll see you guys later. Remember, put all the comments below. I go through them, and if they're decent, I put them up. And I need to do that again pretty soon, actually, because i probably got a, a stack of them to go through. Bye-bye.